Hey y'all, Jeff Nowak here, digital producer for NOAA.com. I just wanted to throw together a quick video today to highlight a play from Deontay Harris, or route rather, that I had a hunch about uh, after watching the game, but I needed to see the L22 to kind of confirm what I thought I saw, which is that the Saints essentially ran the same Deontay Harris, Michael Thomas route combination with Taysom Hill at the quarterback that they ran against the Vikings for a 50 yard gain but it didn't work quite the same way. It, and it ended up in the third option, which is Taysom Hill scrambles for a solid gain. You get 13 yards, 15 yards on the play. You'll see it here. Basically what you're looking at is you have Michael Thomas running a route breaking to the strong side and you have Deontay Harris, essentially a corner post with kind of a dino stem at the top to bluff the deep zone defensive back into thinking Harris is going to the corner. And then he breaks back to the post where there's no deep middle defender. And it worked perfectly against the Vikings. And it worked well against the Bucks. I think if Taysom Hill is able to throw this ball, this is a touchdown if he leads him because the corner has no chance and there's no deep safety in the middle. And what you're looking at is a very similar formation. It might not look that way at first blush, but what you essentially have is a heavy formation with two extra blockers. In this case, they use the fullback, Michael Burton, whereas last year they used an extra lineman and a jumbo set. But it's the same idea. You get that extra blocker out on the edge, so the defensive line, which has been overplaying the run with Taysom Hill the entire game, has to adjust, and they're not going to be able to play that deep route um, because they're rolling a lot of the coverage over to Michael Thomas's side away from that. What ends up happening is Taysom Hill has a two-level read where he checks over to Michael Thomas's side. If the safety is biting down, he goes back and he throws that deep post. It doesn't work quite as well as it did in the Vikings, but as you can see, the, the corner is breaking outside and he just can't recover to the inside. There's no one in that deep middle zone, so he has a mile to lead the ball out to him. You see the same thing here against the Vikings. In this case, Michael Thomas starts in the stack, but he works over to, to the bootleg side. So it draws that defender down and Deontay Harris is wide open. Xavier Rhodes overplays that corner out a lot more, but the same premise works, where all Taysom Hill has to do is get the ball out in front, and it's a big game. Why didn't it work this time? Well, it's pretty simple. Look what happened in the middle. Eric McCoy gets beat. He holds up long enough that Taysom Hill is able to finish his boot. He just doesn't have time to step into that throw, and he settles for the third option, which is still a pretty good option, which is run for however much you can get and get that first down. It's the benefit of having Taysom Hill in there, and this is just an excellent play design that you didn't see on the broadcast because it's going to be focused on the run, but I expect the Saints to go back to this a lot as the season goes on, especially if, if Michael Thomas misses time, you might see a similar a similar combination with maybe Jared Cook, maybe Traquan Smith or Emmanuel Sanders. It might not draw the attention to that side that Michael Thomas would, and it might lead to a few more quarterback runs. But these are the type of concepts that Taysom Hill and Deontay Harris can and will run very effectively. And it's, it's cool to see them already bringing that back a play that was run successfully in the Vikings playoff game was run successfully again for a different result in week one. Thanks for checking this video out. You can follow me on Twitter at Jeff underscore Nowak. Uh, hit me up and let me know if there's anything uh, you want to see specifically in terms of a breakdown. I'm going to keep going through some more film and head over to NOLA.com if you're looking for more Saints coverage. Peace.